Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Petey Prowlock. And it is the player ratings from yesterday's 4-3 home defeat against Manchester City at St. James's Park. I was good. Uh, we lost the game because I thought we did very well. Attacking-wise, we really, really did. What did let us down massively was our defending. That was the big letdown of our game yesterday. You look at the goals we conceded and you've got to say some of those could have been prevented if we defended properly. And we didn't do that in Manchester City. They've got quality on that in their side. They've won the title for a reason. And of course, if you leave them with that much space to get chances on target, nine times out of ten, they are going to tuck those away uh, massively. So, yeah. But I thought we really got at them. Uh, I must say, I thought first half a lot in that game. Manchester City did have a lot of the ball, a lot of possession. They were trying to come forward a lot of the time. We did manage to close them down well in that point. But the second half, we left ourselves massively open at the back, definitely. So, yeah. And um, we did take the lead, unsurprised, very surprisingly. Um, it was a great corner from uh, Shelby and Emil Kraft of all people, got his header onto that, and Carson had no chance of getting a, a glove onto that. Uh, for, it's a great great header, great header from Kraft. It was at the right place to get that header onto it. So, yeah, he's got his first goal for the club. So, yeah, I was very surprised he got on the score sheet um, yesterday, definitely. Man City do go level through Cancelo. That It takes a shot. It's deflected off Jacob Murphy, which then slightly wrong foots to Bravka a little bit. He tries to go back in the right way where the ball is heading for the goal. Couldn't get a glove onto that, unfortunately, and Man City are level um, into the game. And then they go 2-1 up. He get a free kick whipped in. And it's a great flick from Torres. It really, really is. That was brilliant, I must say. But you got to look who should have been tighter on him. Because it is a great strike, but you should be mocking him, I must say. And then we do make a 2-2 before halftime, right into stoppage time. We'll win a penalty because Ake brung out Joe Linton down in the box. They were checking for an offside on ASM, but no way he was offside. The penalty was given, and you're thinking, Joe Linton, oh, what's he? he was the one taking it. You're like, oh, no. Why isn't Richie taking it? But give credit to Joe Linton. He absolutely buried that. He really, really did. So we're 2-2 up into the game. And you're thinking, right, what can we do in the second half? We'll get another penalty after Joe Willock was brought down in the box by Kyle Walker. And Willock, he wanted to take the penalty himself. I thought, was it going to be Joe Linton again? But I think you could tell Joe Willock wanted another goal. And you can tell he really wanted to score again. He took the penalty, which was saved at first by Carson. But he managed to put in the rebound here after that. And we're 3-2 up into the game. And you're thinking, right, can we see the rest of this game out? Or try and look for some more goals? But unfortunately, it was not the case. And then Manchester City um, scored two goals after that. Ah, again, ball into the box and Torres there, but who's marking him? Man, come on. And then they make it 4-3 for Cancelo. Took the, went uh, straight from outside the box, hit the post, but then it found his way back to uh, Torres again, who put that in for his hat trick. Question, was there an offside? Still in, is in an offside position. But he's not interfering with play, and that's why the goal was given. And Manchester City are 4-3 up another game, and they just see out the rest of the game and win the game 4-3. But we did give that a real go, uh, I must say. I thought we attacked them. I thought at the back we caused the problems. I thought we caused Ake problems, uh, I must say. We really, really did. But it's just, if you leave spaces like that, Man City are going to tuck those away. And that is what they did. Um, unfortunately, the lineup, I couldn't... I couldn't fault it, uh, to be honest, uh, I must say, because you're thinking, are we going to really struggle going attack-wise because Callum Wilson's uh, out injured again? But no, I thought we did really give... Um, we did test Manchester City, and that was the thing. We did give that a go. That was what was happy about. Not like previous games where I've seen where I get uh, turned over completely. And, yeah, you can tell the players I wanted to play for that now. They really, really do. Um, that is the thing. But it was just a disappointment how we conceded the Manchester City goals. You look at them and think of 
those some of those uh, should have been presentable definitely well then i'm going to go into the player ratings stonoff and goal martin dubravka couldn't do out about the goals could he no chance he could uh, unfortunately he did have to come for a couple of catches to say when balls were coming into the box did he have to pull off a lot of saves not particularly he did but he did have four goals uh put past him but he couldn't have done out about them, uh, I must say. Definitely not. So I'm going to give Dubravka um, a five. Into the uh, back three, the three centre-backs. First of all, Emil Kraft. And he did score that great header, uh, I must say. It's a great header. But again, you've got to look at the marking for the goals, uh, I must say. That is the thing. So because he scored that header, I'm going to give Emil Kraft a six. Uh, next to the centre backs, and that was Federico Fernandez again. Okay at times, but again, it's the defending which let us down for their goals. Uh, I must say that it was the problem yesterday. So I'm going to give Fernandez um, a five. And the last of the centre backs, Paul Dummett, and again the same, the same. I must say there was times he managed to try and get tackles in, but again, you have to look at the marking. Uh, that is the thing. And if you get get those correct, there's a chance you're going to stop Manchester City from scoring from them. That is the thing. <sighs> yeah. So I'm going to give a dumb at a five as well. Going to go into the wing backs on the right hand side. Jacob Murphy did pretty well. Uh, I must say he was certainly driving forward with the ball. Was times his chances on target were not. There was not a lot of power, and Carson was managed to get those uh, pretty comfortable. But I thought attacking wise to get down there, I thought he did well, uh, Jacob Murphy. So I'm going to give him uh, a seven. Um, on the left hand side of the wing backs, Matt Ritchie again did pretty well as well. Probably not as good as what I said Murphy was. I think there was times Ritchie was dropping back a lot. Um, but if that was his job as a wing-back role, you can understand why. But the three centre-backs should be at least trying to do a lot of that, uh, do that job um, as well. Um, so it was decent uh, from Richie, but it wasn't say it was as good as what Murphy's performance was. Uh, so I'm going to give uh, Richie a six. Uh, midfielders, first of all, John Joe Shelby. I thought the corner he whipped in for uh, Kraft's goal was really good. Uh, I must say. And um, the free kick he took, which hit the bar or the upright. Oh, that that was unlucky, uh, I must say. It wasn't bad from John Joe Shelby, but what I'm going to say is where has that been previously? That is what i like to know. Why has he not been showing that in previous games? And see the Shelby, what we should be seeing at this football club. I must say that is what is, uh, frustrates me. Why hasn't he done that in the previous games? But I've got to say decent from Shelby, so I'm going to give him a seven. Next um, in the centre midfield role, and that was Joe Willock, and I thought he was my man of the match. He really, really did well, uh, I must say. You could tell he wanted another goal. He really went in that uh, Manchester City uh, defence, and you can tell we, he, and you can tell he really likes, wants to play here now. Get the lad signed permanently. Please pay the money, because we would guarantee him games at this football club 100 percent my man of the match yesterday uh, joe willock scored another goal as well i'm gonna give him an eight next to the uh, midfield role and that was miggy it wasn't bad uh, i must say but it's that position it does not suit him it really really doesn't miggy is an attacking number 10 midfielder what i think bruce should do is just look to play him either in front of the two midfielders. Why not try that and see how that does? Centre midfield is not his position, uh, I must say. He did well to drive forward uh, with the ball. There was times uh, in the brick walls, uh, I must say. But, yeah, you can understand that that is not Miggy's position um, at all, unfortunately. So I'm going to give Miggy um, a six. Um, the attacking two up front, first of all, uh, ASM. Was very quiet a lot in the first half because, again, Manchester City had a lot of that uh, ball in possession. But when he did get the ball, you know what he's like. You really, really know what he can do um, as well. That is the thing. You could tell he managed to uh, take on a lot of Manchester City players. 
We need to build around him next season. We need to keep a hold of this lad 100% massively because he can tell he is vital to our squad, uh, I must say. Though he did well, um, ASM was quiet um, in the f a lot in the first half, but then really started to come a lot more into the game, uh, I must say. Definitely. So I'm going to give ASM a 7. And alongside him, Joe Linton, and I've got to say the same as ASM, a bit quite quiet in the first half, struggled a little bit, but I thought... Was starting to get more involved there into the game. Scored the penalty. I must say, he buried that. He absolutely buried that pass there, Scott Carlson. Uh, Joe Linton, you were worrying, and is it going to be the penalty like you missed against uh, Newport? But no, he really got his boot onto that because there's been times where his shots have been tame as anything and it's been easy for the goalkeeper to get those. But no, really um, strike that penalty very well, Joe Linton. So I, I'm actually going to give him a, a seven as well. Going to go into the substitutions now. These were made far too late, uh, which I didn't mention a lot in the video. In this video, that was the thing. Right into the 80 odd minute, we made those substitutions. You could tell there was tiredness coming in from a lot of the players. We should have made the changes a lot more earlier. So we fetched on uh, Jamal Lewis, Sean Longstaff, and Dwight Gale. The win on for a lot of time, eh, I must say. So I'm not going to mark them. But if it did, it would just be down the middle. And uh, they will probably go with uh, fives for um, all of them. Going to go into the manager, Steve Bruce. I'm, I'm going to give uh, Steve Bruce a six. I thought the lineup he went with was good. Uh, I must say, I, to be honest, I had no complaints there uh, with the lineup. It did well against Leicester City. So you could understand, in a way, why he did not want to change that. But he made the substitute far too late. He really, really did. That was the thing, unfortunately. And he should have told those uh, defenders, our defenders, to make sure they were man-marking the Manchester City players because that is what let us down big style. But Steve Bruce, is he still good enough for this football club? No. He needs to still go at the end of the season. My opinion on him is not changing anytime soon. And we need to change a manager of next season 100%. We really, really do. Manager of the month as well. <sighs> Fluke. That, that that was a fluke, in my opinion, to get that, uh, I must say. It really, really was. Because, again, the performances previously just haven't been convincing um, at all. Uh, I must say, yes, we've managed to get some wins, but the performances have just not been fantastic. So I would say he was very lucky to get that manager of the month for April, definitely. So that is my player ratings that I've gone with. Let me know down in the comment section, as always. Do you agree with what I've gone with? If you were to change any of them, let me know as always, M and Y. Um, tonight, 8pm on the channel, there is going to be another stream, and it'd be great to have you on, so we're going to be discussing which players you think need to leave the club when the, uh, when the season ends, because we have got so many players that are not good enough for this football club, and a lot of these need to be moved on um, as well. So come and have your say tonight on the channel at 8pm. It'll be great to have you on. So thank you for watching. Of course, don't forget to give this video a like. Please drop your comments um, in as well. And of course, if you haven't checked me out before, please do hit the subscribe button. And I shall catch us all tonight at 8 p.m. with a bit of a surprise in there. If we can get, if I can get it uh, fixed up. So I'll not tell you what it is yet, but you'll see we're in the live stream that when it's up, if it is up. So yeah. And I'll catch us all here. Take care.